Am I the a-hole for not paying for my birthday present? I, 21 female, have been friends with my 21 female best friend for six years now. This year for my birthday, she decided to book us both a cruise for my birthday present and told me she was going to pay for it. Fast forward to now, a month later, and she cannot afford the cruise anymore. She needed a new car. She bought one that was so far out of her budget that she can't even afford the insurance, so her parents are paying for that. She texted me over the weekend that with this new car, she can't afford to pay for my ticket on the cruise and asked if I could take the payment. I asked her how much and when the payment was due and I realized it would be out of budget for me. I'm paying for my car payment, car insurance, credit card, and I recently booked a vacation to see my long distance boyfriend in Korea. I'm trying to build back my finances and the payment for the cruise wouldn't be doable for me right now because I have bills coming out of every paycheck at the moment. And I need to be able to put money in savings and have some left over for gas and groceries. I explained this to her and said that we don't have to do the cruise and I understand why she can't pay. She told me that since I can't pay for my portion, she's going to find someone else who can. This upset me, but I didn't say anything at first because I didn't want to talk to her while I was upset and say something stupid. I came into work this morning, we worked together, and asked her if we could talk about the cruise. And when I told her I was upset and hurt that she's taking someone else on the cruise that was supposed to be my birthday present, she told me she was upset that I wasn't paying. Here's where I could be the aho. She said that she's upset that I can pay for my trip to Korea, but not for the cruise. And I was acting like that's okay. I explained to her that when I booked my trip, I wasn't expecting to pay for the cruise. And when I asked her if she understood where I was coming from, but all she said was, who's paying for it? And now for the comments. Not the a-ho. Your friend is the A. You don't offer someone a trip for a present and then expect them to pay for it. She is acting this way because she feels guilty for what she's done, but she isn't going to admit it. Not the a-ho. She said she'd pay, so she should. It's not your fault she bought a car out of her budget. You booked your trip to see your boyfriend when the understanding was she was paying for the cruise. It's rude of her to assume you'd just pay for your ticket or she'd just replace you. If she was a good friend, she'd give you the ticket she paid for and let you find someone else to go with you. Not the A, it's not your fault that she can no longer afford the ticket for you that she said she'd pay for. She's an a-hole for going way out of her budget for a car she can't afford. But I don't think she's the a-hole for trying to find someone to buy the other ticket, especially if hers is paid for in full already. The whole thing is a crappy situation, but no one wants to go on a cruise alone. Update. I want to thank all of you for your advice and support that you gave me on my original post. And I felt like now that everything is kind of settled down on my end, I could give an update. So as you can probably guess, I am no longer friends with the girl. We'll call her R in this post. From my original post. She ended up coming to me about a week after the initial confrontation with coffee as a peace offering and asked if we could talk. I clarified to her that I wasn't upset that she couldn't afford to pay for the ticket anymore, but that I was more upset by her behavior toward me in the following week, as I felt her anger was misplaced and unreasonable. She apologized and said she reacted unfairly and was only thinking about herself in the situation. I said I forgave her, but in the week we weren't speaking and the weeks that followed, I found out a lot about her actions behind my back and had a few realizations that I was, in all honesty, an idiot for not seeing before. She had gone to one of our close friends, who we'll call her Kay, that we had known since childhood, and was talking crap about me for not being able to afford the trip. She made fun of me for inspecting the used cars she looked at at the dealerships. She overall tried to make me seem like I was the one being unreasonable. Kay then came and told me what she had said, and then asked me if anything had been said about her by R. And that's when my first realization happened. A few weeks prior to our argument, R had been upset with Kay because she was going through a few personal things and hadn't been as present as a friend as she had been previously. R decided she wasn't going to put up with it 
and met with the board on the singing group we're all in to discuss removing her from the group entirely. And in addition to that, was threatening to call the city and say Kay's business didn't have proper permitting and consequently get it shut down. I told Kay all about this. And as you can imagine, she had no interest in being friends with R as well. News of her actions toward Kay and I spread around our shared friend group and everyone slowly started cutting her off. I think the main thing that I realized is that she has a pattern of trying to absolutely demolish anyone who even remotely pisses her off. All I can say is regards to that is to treat your friends with kindness and they'll probably stick around. In regards to my Korea trip, I went in July and had a wonderful time. It was so good to see my boyfriend and we had a lot of good memories on our trip. He means so much to me and I'm so glad I got to see him. We didn't get to do a ton because there's so much to do on slash around the base. And it was monsoon season, so the rain was too heavy to drive the hour and a half to Seoul safely most days. I did, however, get absolutely obliterated with him and his buddies. I got to try real Korean barbecue. We went bowling, explored a museum, drove a lot, and we visited Lot World. Super cool, by the way. I had a ton of fun just being around him, and he made me feel so loved and appreciated that whole week long. And I 100% cried at the airport on my flight home. We're extremely happy together and are discussing moving in together when he gets back to the States. I have a new job now, and my other friends love me and support me 100%. I haven't heard from her since I left our shared job, and I'm doing absolutely great. Thank you all again for your kind words and advice.